Hello, hello. So today I want to go through a really important topic that relates to Bitcoin and digital currencies, which is how to store your seed phrase. So a lot of people put emphasis on wallets and choosing the right wallet and having a secure cold wallet, but not as much emphasis on the seed phrase. But the seed phrase is actually way more important. So because Bitcoin is an open source protocol and there are all these open source tools around it that allow you to interact with it, a wallet is actually more just a vessel for your recovery phrase or your seed phrase than it is the, the actual tool for spending your Bitcoin. So that means securing your seed phrase is super important. So the first thing I want to go through is just what a seed phrase is. So a seed phrase is 12 or maybe 18 or probably 24 words long, and it will be presented pretty much every time you initialize a wallet. So whether that's a software wallet on your phone or a hardware wallet like a Trezor or a Ledger, you'll get a seed phrase when you're creating that wallet. Now, a lot of people don't really know what to do with this, so they just write it down on a piece of paper and figure they'll deal with it later because they're more concerned with the wallet that's in their hand and dealing with that. But the seed phrase is actually far more important. So the first thing I want to go through about a seed phrase is actually when you're writing it down, three things to, to keep in mind when you're recording that and uh, storing that seed phrase. So these are three things you definitely do not want to do with that seed phrase. The first is putting the seed phrase into a password manager. This may seem like a super simple and really logical thing to do, right? This is like your password for your Bitcoin, so put it in the password manager. The problem is a password manager is a digital service. That file that holds all your passwords is living on another server somewhere else. And if that password manager gets hacked and you lose your seed, it's a lot different than if you lost your Facebook password or your email password. Because with those services, you can reach out to someone and ask them for permission to get back into your account. They can lock your account, they can verify your identity using other means, and they can get access back to the rightful owner. With Bitcoin, there is no central service that owns it. There is no support number you can call to say, someone took my seed phrase, I need to get it back. Once that seed phrase is gone and someone else has reinitialized your wallet onto a wallet that they own, your Bitcoins are gone. So you really need to understand how important it is to keep that seed phrase secure. The next tip beyond using a password manager, not using a password manager, is not to use any online seed recovery programs. So this is a pretty common scam that you'll see reports of across Reddit and whatnot. And I'll put some links in the description below. Basically what people do is they set up these websites and they ask for people's seed phrases as a recovery service. Get your Bitcoin back using this website. Some people have even been fished where they've been sent to a fake version of a trusted website and then asked to put their seed in. If you're ever being asked to put your seed into a computer, put that recovery phrase into a computer or a phone, do not do it. Think twice before you do that and read some documentation, try to understand why they might be asking for your seed because it very well could be a scam to try and get your Bitcoin. So first two, do not store your seed phrase in a password manager and do not use an online seed recovery service ever. The third one, which is really important, especially on mobile wallets, is not to take a screenshot of your seed. So I see this all the time. I saw it even with my parents. As soon as they created their wallet, they're presented with these 24 words and rather than get a pen and paper, they're just like, ah, screw it. I'll screenshot it and I'll deal with this later. As soon as you screenshot that seed phrase, you've saved it into iCloud, Google Photos, wherever else your photos are connected to. And that photo can be hacked and stolen and someone can initialize your wallet and steal all your Bitcoin. So it's really important that you keep that seed off of the screen really as much as possible and keep it offline. It's probably a better bet to just write it down, deal with it in the offline world. Don't put it in front of cameras. Don't say it aloud. Don't give it any way to enter the digital world because as we've seen celebrities, iCloud accounts and whatnot getting hacked, 
these things are hackable and they will get hacked. So it's, if someone has a motivation to come after you, especially because they know you own some Bitcoin, you better make sure that that seed is very, very hard for someone to get to. So that's my three things you should not do with a seed. Do not put it in a password manager. Do not use an online seed recovery service and do not take a screenshot of that seed. So as far as how to record your seed phrase and then store it securely, there's a couple ways to do this. You can write it down on paper, which a lot of hardware wallet manufacturers, especially they'll ship a little booklet where you can just write down your 24 words. That's a decent way to store a small amount of money. It's obviously very convenient. You just write it down but it's not a good way to store over long periods of time because as we know, paper and ink are not the most durable materials. So there are a couple vendors. You can find them at the link below to the guide to storing your seed phrase. There's one big link down there that has a list of a bunch of different manufacturers that make steel backup plates. So there's different styles. Some have letters that you put in or holes that you punch or they include like a pen that you can write on the steel with and etch into the steel. Those plates are, are much better than paper because they're built to withstand high temperatures and water damage and all sorts of things. So if you store these at home, even if your house floods or it burns down, they should be recoverable. Most of them are between 50 and $100 for a plate or two. So depending on how much you're storing on that seat phrase or recovery phrase, and that wallet, it might be worth it to invest in one of them. As far as where to store it, safe deposit boxes are an okay option, although they're not the most secure because a bank employee can open the wrong one and someone could get access to your seed. So it's not a great idea to use a safe deposit box, but family, relatives, friends, plenty of places that you could store this, but it's really up to you to decide which ones have a good balance between security as well as ease of retrieval. So you don't want to save this with your grandma who forgets things a lot and throws things in the trash a lot because you don't want her to accidentally throw out your backup. But you may also not want to just put it in the top drawer by your front door where it could get easily stolen. You have to figure out for yourself what places are most secure as well as accessible in your personal situation depending on where you live, your friends, your family, whatnot. So if you want a bunch more tips on how to store your seed phrase, some different workflows for how you can record and store a seed phrase effectively, as well as what you might want to do for inheritance planning in case you die and you want to pass on your Bitcoin to your next of kin or friends or family, all of that is in a guide down below. You'll find that link at the top of the description. So check that out if you want to learn more. There's also some affiliate links going out to different uh, creators of backup steel plates and seed phrase storage options, as well as multi-sig options and other things you might want to check out just to beef up your security as far as Bitcoin is concerned. Thanks.